Archangels and Pretty Freaks, episode 78. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. Why were you so surprised? I don't know. I knew we were going to start, but then you just kind of started. I was like, I oh. got to get it done. Yeah. All right. Just go. Go team. So uh, <laughs> thank you for listening. Thank you for all the listening that you've been doing. I don't know what I'm saying. For the last start 78 Yes. That too. <laughs> um, well, let's start with our beverages. Yeah. Since we're uh, starting with beverages. I'm since I'm them so now. parched. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to explain this? Um, it is a, I, it's a root beer, but it's an alcoholic root beer, I guess. It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. It's been talked about on Salty oh, Language. And, also, and they are not fans because it's super sweet. Right. And We haven't tried it yet. Right. And then um, also a couple of things, podcast talk, has talked about it before and they like it. So um, we're going to try it. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Here we go. First sip. Okay. Oh my god, that is ridiculously sweet. That's almost sweeter than wow. normal wort beer. Holy crap! I well, just said normal wort beer. Yeah. Well, oh. well, there it is. That's probably the only and one you're going to have then. <laughs> and this is our beverage for the evening. So no, I'm going to have more because this is our beverage for the evening. Um. So there it is. Not your father's root beer. First sip. Tasty. Really sweet, but very sweet. And it is alcoholic, but also um, we're not exactly sure how long this episode's going to go. Ooh. Because we are recording with um, our new rescue puppy, Nine, in the room with us. And she's asleep <laughs> she's right now. on a little bed down there. But we don't know how long that'll right. last. So <laughs> You did a really good job trying best. to wear out. So yeah. it's uh, We're actually recording on a Friday night. We thought this might... Well, we've actually been having fun recording on Friday nights. Yeah. Or at least I have. And we thought this might work best because the puppy's tired by this time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to try if, if the puppy wakes up and starts to make noise or whatever, I'm going to probably run out and see if she has to go to the bathroom and on least, and we'll just see how long we can do that until it just gets <laughs> how long I can and talk then, to myself. <laughs> and then we'll just be like, okay, that's it. Probably should have had some ya. backup topics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. We just talk about this root beer. So, um, yeah. So the, yeah, we're podcasting for the first time in a long time with the Doberman in the room. Oh, yeah. It made, it made me. Happy and a little sad at the same time. Yeah. It's weird because Nine, it does, she's, she already walks the perimeter. It's a Doberman thing to walk the perimeter of fences. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm sure a lot of other dogs do it. I just know for some reason Dobermans like to take that path. They like to walk, right. even in rooms, they walk along walls. Right. Well, you can, you can also see that too because uh, Zero doesn't really do that. Mm-mm. Like he walks along the fence line sometimes and smells it and things like that. And, and there's a certain like little path he has on the grass. Right. But he'll cut across. He doesn't care. You know, like it. I mean, he has like tendencies and habits, right? But he doesn't walk the perimeter like no. seven wore seven out the grass day. of the perimeter, and so this little yeah, one, there was this a little twelve pound, eight week old Doberman puppy. Well, for her, the perimeter is probably by the time she gets in, she's like, okay, nap time. That's yeah, it. But she lays down not because the yard is big because she's so small. <laughs> Didn't want to make it sound like because in our mansion, yeah, in our forty acres back yeah. there in the North Forty. Yeah, so. So here we are, episode 78. How are you there, sexy pants? I'm good. Oh, you know, um, also, I came up on my little Facebooks doing that whole, like, memories thing, like, to this year, today, three years ago, whatever. Right. So today, three years ago, we moved into our house. That's right. And I actually saw that, and I kind of looked at the picture, and I was looking at the little, you know, tagline of the picture, whatever, and, and I got a little teary-eyed. I was like, it's Aw, funny. it's our we little don't, home. <laughs> we don't remember that, considering it's September 11th. You'd think we would, um, and I didn't think we moved in on September I didn't 11. think so either. So, so I, maybe that's just the day I posted the picture. Because I don't. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Because I thought we moved in before that. I, yeah, and, I thought we moved in on the 9th. Right. Um, but, it's possible. Yeah. But either way. I don't think so. I think that we it moved it. It was pretty it. cool. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's also September 11th. Um, also, before we get too, f- well, we're probably not going to get too far off the topic of dogs, but I wanded to congratulate a man just uh, drank. A I, it's not of that. It's that we're both very tired. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> oh, that's true. We haven't. I listened slept. to last week's episode. I'm yeah. really tired. I slub my words all through that episode, and I hadn't. What's funny is last week, like one we, beer before yeah. we started, and last and week I haven't we had didn't a beer have today. Puppy, so we were actually sleeping. Yeah, just um, tired. Just tired. Congratulations to uh, Tony and Jeannie of the Salty Language Podcast for adopting their little Bel Air. Yeah. Bell, yeah. Um, Yay. 
Uh, Everybody go and adopt a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So pretty cool. Wish them much luck and much she's, love. She's, she's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, yeah. She's totally beautiful. Talking about Tony, of course. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah. We're Those both, eyes. Both exhausted because <laughs> anybody who has a puppy or has had a puppy knows that. Knows, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's a thing. So, yeah. So here we are. Training and walking what do you and got? pooping. I got lots of stuff. But nine mm-hmm. was like top do on it. my list. Yeah. Well, we, we talk about dogs so much. We don't have to I know, but people. It ask and stuff speaking of i um (laughs) speaking of that i um tried out the people no singing oh i am tried out the 80s rock Mm -hmm. station driving home today Uh, on amazon prime Prime music stations Mm -hmm. and um it was fun i listened to van halen motley crew Wow, I gotta check that out. And then I didn't know they had that. Yeah, and then they had um, Blue Oyster Cult. And what, um, uh, what Van Halen song? Um, Dr. Like, Feel Good. That would be. Motley I'm sorry, Crew. that was Motley Crue. Yeah. I, I was trying to think of um, um, Para. It's more Parallax. Think about that. Okay. Isn't there a parachute? Is there a Van Halen song called the PA? I would imagine. I can't read the small print. Yeah. In the, but okay cool. it was a um no it's um okay yeah about it. i just think we'll about it later it. like yeah. it all yeah when i'm was driving it with david I'm, lee roth or sammy hagar oh no david lee roth okay cool and you um, and you were rocking out right and you then, did come home and ask if i could karaoke sing a journey song yeah for when i guess for when we go I'm not any way you want it i'm not assuming that you uh want to go karaoke to me <laughs> i don't <with> puppy, <laughs> i'm kind of tired with it we're gonna have to get her a backpack because I'm tired of holding her. <laughs> I carry yeah, her around. Her in a backpack? Yeah. Like a little toy dog? Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. We'll keep doing it though when she's. Right. Well, she's not gonna be that big. I think she'll so. be about 70 pounds, I'm guessing. If we're lucky. Yeah. I think she's her, small. Yeah. Which is funny because 70 pounds is a big dog, but when right. we're used to a 100 pound dog, it's. I was talking to someone today who um, called Zero a big dog. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Zero's not a big dog. Zero's a medium sized <laughs> dog. And they're like, <laughs> You're going you to be right? Uh, yeah, went down sideways. My face. That doesn't feel good. No. <laughs> but, um, and they were saying, um, oh, well, Zero's a big dog. How you feel? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 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 and um, I was like, Zero's not a big dog. He's about like 50, 55 pounds. He's like, yeah, that's a big dog. I'm like, no, no, it's not. Yeah. The average, you know, um, size of a lab is like 70 pounds. So, and I guess, don't you think? I don't know. I don't know much about labs. Yeah, it is because I, I had after seven passed away. Some we were I was we, I was walking zero around. The lady said, "Oh, I'm a little afraid of big dogs," and I'm like, "Oh, cool. So you have no problem with this one, right? Yeah, I don't think of him um, as a big dog, but In seeing comparison. him now right. compared to this little thing, I'm she's like, gonna be bigger oh, than him. He looks huge in a year, probably, right? Yeah. yeah, a little. Well, she'll be taller than him in a year, but. I don't think she'll fill out. Well, it's she's tough gonna, to I say because she's, she's getting fixed so young. Skinny. Yeah. Yeah. She might not she's fill getting out. fixed. So anyway. You guys need all about that so, stuff. <laughs> yeah. There it is. And Zero has been Weekly so amazing talk. with her. Yeah. I love it. Yay. I love so seeing what the bonding and playing. Which is, well, and uh, Zero sat on her head today, which was pretty fun. <laughs> He's like, I'm top dogs, which is good for him. But. Yeah. That's pretty good. And she was like. But yeah. it just kind of like brings us back to what we were talking about in our last episode with our favorite five um, I love seeing that happening. That's like one of my favorite things is yeah. that seeing their bond and seeing them grow. And then like, she's becoming more comfortable here. Like she just, she just runs and jumps through the screen door. Like, yeah. well, we have a screen that allows yeah. dogs to pass through. It's not like she actually busts through. A screen no, door. I just like that. She, that she knows like, it's okay. Like, yeah. Like this is my house. Yeah. I was, I was going to go into a bunch of stuff, but it's stuff I'll, t- I'll tell you later. Oh, right. <laughs> about, house, her, about, yeah. Her reaction to the vacuum. But, um, yeah, I want to wrap up the dog talk because we Sorry. have so much of it. But uh, I was very – you know, because Zero's got his quirks. He's he's a very kind, gentle dog. But I wasn't exactly sure how he'd respond mm-hmm. to another – and he's absolutely taken to it. He really likes it. So it's been good. Right. So – And I like how it hasn't actually changed his personality so much so far. Yeah. Like he's still doing his own thing and kind of doing – We're also being really good of giving him time with us alone and letting him have time by right. himself and – we we don't force the puppy on you know right. when it looks like he's had enough we yeah. just take her love away. the puppy yeah 
<laughs> yeah, which is kind of what I what I did. I think it was more my fault when we got zero to seven. It was like, here's a puppy, here's a puppy, and seven was like, I don't want the damn puppy. I'm old <laughs> and I'm dying. Leave me alone. Uh, um, oh, so that's funny. okay, yeah, but good, good, good times. And then, um, um, Woo. Wow. um, so this week has been insanely hot. And speaking busy. of which, oh, is it that time? I think we should just get out of the way because wow. it's been like super, super hot. Keep thinking you're going to wake her up, but she sleeps like oh, so yeah. soundly. Well, okay. I got to I gotta do what I do. Yeah. She wakes up. Man, the <laughs> gotta bitch has got to take care of herself. <laughs> got to do what you boo. <laughs> do what you boo. <laughs> you going to hit a button? Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome to the portion of the program where we give you our local weather. You know what I think people should just- Wow. Okay. You know what I think people should do, or I'd like people to do. They shouldn't. They don't have to do shit. But what I think would be fun is uh, if you're on Twitter or Facebook and, and you're, you're listening, listening, and it's convenient. Uh, by, this is not. Please don't a text game. and drive. Yeah, this is not a game. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, send us your weather at that your local weather at that time, and then I will. Uh, I will actually read them all off <laughs> the next show because that would be funny to yeah. me. And uh, it's about me. I've decided. Back to you. <laughs> so, uh, at recording time, which is Friday evening, almost Friday night, actually, it's uh, after 7 p.m. here. It's 91 degrees outside with 28% humidity. It's 82 degrees inside with 39% humidity. If you hear a little background noise, it's because we have some windows open and a couple fans on low. We shut off the air conditioning. Right. So, it's going to get freaking hotter than blazes in here. I'm already uh, hot. <laughs> peak wind at 11 miles an hour. Average of three at recording time was four miles an hour blowing out of the southeast. Yes, out of the southeast. And uh, the barometer was at 29.80. Well, I'm, gonna have to talk I'm a little to the delayed. producer about this. Producer Kitty Von Freaky Pants. <laughs> sucky, sucky. No, that's yeah. not call her that. Um, so-, so it's been hotter than freaking poor puppy has been all the dogs and us have been it's been over a hundred every uh three days this week n- uh no four monday was too mm. so this is today's the fourth day it hit 100 that's good that's good it's the fifth day is it the fifth you're day? close four monday tuesday Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday. Just saying. math is hard <laughs> math is stupid yeah. <laughs> just ask nasa yeah god um so one of the side effects of having the puppy while it's so hot is that we have to leave the... This is hurting my teeth. I was actually going to say that I'm not sure I can drink another one. It might make me feel a little bit sickly because I haven't really eaten very Man, much today. Keep drinking it. On the side of it, it says, we like to think of it as a dark spiced ale with vanilla and honey notes. First, best served chilled or poured over a glass of ice. Oh, that sounds good. With ice, oh, it sounds a lot ice, better. Yeah. yeah, I will do that um, um, in a moment. But I think when that you, it's oh, yeah, uh, it funny that... Um, that's not funny at all, actually. I'm going to take that whole statement back. It's, it's not funny. It's a little bit funny. Um, so because she cries at night so loudly, loudly, that's... Are we back to puppy talk? No, I'm going to refer to the hot talk. Oh, all right. That, um, Do I need to be so, here for this? Or can I get glasses of ice? Oh, go. Do you want me? No, no, no it's I okay. You tell me. You tell no, me. Okay. Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. Did you lose them in the Just sun? Just go. <laughs> God. Oh, that's another song that came up on the 80s jams. What? Um, danger I zone. I went to the danger zone. I can, I'll karaoke the shit out of. I that know song. you would. That's. I didn't ask for that one. I asked for Although, the journey song. <laughs> Although that you was, just oh, karaoke. Not going. There might be no karaoke. Has he officially I, said that? I, I, I'm pretty sure. Well, because we just officially announced that Nichols not going to RCCC. Jerk. Anyway, um, so uh, since she, we have her in a playpen, uh, which is AKA the dining room that Neil has. Um, so lovingly set up and secured so we can, you know, have her secure when we go to work because obviously she's a puppy and we can't just like let her roam around and do what she wants and eat, you know, paste or whatever. But um, so we have her in there at night and trying to potty train her and everything. And she barks and whines her little face off Back and she talk. has a set of lungs on her. So can't get away from even the though talk. it's it. super hot outside, we want to have the window open, have the fans on. We have to sleep with the window closed because... The neighbors can hear that shit. And you can hear it, like, with the windows closed. So we're trying to, you know, you know, be nice and, like, not have that just, you know. I talked to uh, one of the neighbors today. I introduced Nine to one of the neighbors. Uh-huh. 
And I said, I'm really sorry about the yelping. And he's like, oh, he's like, don't even worry about it. He goes, I heard a little bit of it earlier. And I'm like, I know that's not zero. And he's like, and I didn't really know what it was. But so. So she was screaming her face off. <laughs> I would imagine. Anyway. But it's been hotter than freaking crap. Is, you were either right. talking and about that or puppies. I was talking about how we have to keep the windows closed because she's so loud. Oh, right. And, it, and it's so And it's just, I, I, it's just been so uncomfortable. Like I just can't, even when we can sleep when she's being quiet, because she's actually been really good. She's come around. I, the first night was rough, but then she's been doing really good. All right. Can we get off the goddamn puppy Hi, talk? Zero. Um, that's and, and that's the cat. <laughs> well, Zero was there too. Right. Has so many animals. Um, so... Cheers again. Cheers. Thank you. Um, but my whole point is that not only am I tired, but like I'm even tired because That's like they're just better. not, you know, like with the freaking, <sighs> I'm dying with the window closed. I'm dying. <laughs> Try this uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer in Over a glass ice. with ice. Yeah, that's the actually, best way. It's actually a little bit better. Then it doesn't then you don't feel like you're getting ripped off by having a crappy beer. You actually feel like you're having some cool <laughs> beverage. It's really good. Actually, now it looks like a sp- a spiked Coca Cola. It it put some rum in. This I think bad it's a boy. very tasty root beer, but it doesn't taste anything like beer. It's in got any a conceivable little. Way. It's got a little alcohol though because I haven't eaten much today, and uh, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a lightweight, but I'm, <laughs> I also don't. I can taste it. The alcohol. <laughs> I'll finish my story later then. Sorry. No. What was the <laughs> <laughs> about? I know. I was. Uh, I was doing like a taste test. It was in, to, in my own head, like. To myself. <laughs> like I hear, we're podcasting. I'm talking. You're like, mm-hmm. so anyway, <laughs> let me tell you. Bye. You normally do that. <laughs> I do. It's my thing. Anyway, go on. I'm just starting to copy you. <laughs> <laughs> Silly man. Let me talk. <laughs> Whatever you were saying, people are bored of anyway. <laughs> you know. You know it took the motto. me like 20 minutes to tell the story less, about leaving the window closed. <laughs> less of you, more of her. Which doesn't serve any purpose at all. It should just be dark angels and dark angels because no one <laughs> listens to you, sir. I don't even. I'm on the podcast with you. I don't even listen to you. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you spit up root beer? <laughs> it went out my nose. <laughs> you okay? <clears throat> Why don't you tell your story? I don't have any more stories. <laughs> it's really super hot, and. Uh, <laughs> At work, I'm working in an attic. It's all it's a hot man jam up in there. Hot man jam. Here they go. Woke her up. Oh, no, no. And she's back out. Oh, she just God. scratched a little bit. Dear Lord, that was so, painful. We're working on this project at work. This not your father's root beer feels like crap when it comes out your nose. <laughs> Good to know. So, um, and it's um, hasn't this uh. Our project hasn't gone live yet, and so the air conditioning isn't up. Like, there's electricity, but not all the outlets are on and everything, blah, blah, blah. So we have some extension cords and stuff going. So when it's 100 degrees outside, and let's say, for example, you have to run some cable in an attic space, it is very warm. Yeah. And so, like, this week there's been, you know, like, a ton of construction guys, like, Wandering all around. Oh, and all the ass sweat up in there. I, I really have been trying hard to not go over there. I've been staying away. And um, it's actually like not that bad because they have all the doors and fans and stuff Probably going. It smells like a but wet, it doesn't actually big It doesn't jacket. actually smell that bad. It's not that wet hot. Wool. But like today we were pulling cable and this was after most of the guys have already gone. Wet wool and camel farts. And oh, like. no, that's so gross. But oh my gosh, today I was just like, oh my God. Like, yeah. if I could wear, like, some sort of, like, shorts or something while I was working, I don't think that's oh, OSHA. the yoga approved. pants that you wear. I've been wearing jeans and T-shirts. <clears throat> I've been getting dressed. I'm going to go to work. <laughs> nice. I do have to tell you something extremely funny. All right. Um, My boss said something very funny to me. And I took it as a euphemism, but okay. that's not how he meant it. So Are I want to make that. Are you allowed to say this? Because won't he listen? Yes. Okay. It'll be okay. Because he didn't mean it that way. He didn't intend it that way. Yeah. And, but, you know, because I don't know if it's... You're not going to get him in trouble. My like dirty brain. For, for HR no. hears this. Okay. Because obviously that wasn't his intention. Right. But, um, so we were going, we were talking about going to pull the cable and it's been already kind well, of... Well, that's a, a euphemism right there. Right. But that we were... Because you're a professional cable puller. <laughs> so, but we were just, we were talking work talk, professional work talk. And... I, I um, heard sometimes you're told to tug harder on it because it sometimes... <laughs> It's stuck. Gotta, yeah. Right? Got to jam it in the jam hole. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What the hell? Are, wait. <laughs> anyway. Are you a 
porn star or a cable <laughs> puller? Because I've never had to do any electrical work and someone say, jam it in the jam hole. Just kidding. <laughs> I think, I think, I mean, we may need to revisit what you do for a living. Oh, I get benefits. To, it's all right. Did they tell you to pull uh, the Zero cable Zero keeps harder? walking by the door. No, they told me to jam it in the jam hole. <laughs> no, no one said that. Um, so it's already been established that I'm apparently going to wire the machine room and the, the racks of gear that are in the machine room. Or the control room. And so um, we were talking about pulling cable and and my boss was just like, yeah, so you can just uh, pull the cable right to Annalise's Magic Land. To your what? <laughs> to Annalise's Magic Land. Magic Land. <laughs> and, That's a new name. And then I just, I just paused and I looked at him and, and he just looked at me and he's kind of smiled like, what? And then I looked at my other coworker and I'm like, okay. Never mind. Anyway, and just kept continue talking about work. And then like a minute later, I'm like, oh, we're going to pull cable to my magic land. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it was an unintentional euphemism. You can hashtag that. I like magic land. <laughs> we're going to no pull some cable saying, into my magic land. No wonder you're saying jam it in the jam hole. <laughs> magic land. You know, oh my God. I don't know. I, uh, I, I think you're. Jim's going to be listening and being like, wait. He's going to be embarrassed probably now that. Great. But. Uh, I think I think after he says he listens to this, he should just do the. Magic land. <laughs> magic magic point, land. Point to your lady parts. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll get, but, get you a pair of like those super tight like yoga shorts. <laughs> where, like, they, I'll know, just wear bike shorts. Built in camel toe and it just <laughs> no. says magic land on it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Come no. and ride the camel oh at magic God. land. That's a good one. Anyway, so pretty good. Oh God, it's hot in here already. Mm-hmm. Um, so is it? This is our. We're gonna podcast one more time before our CCC. Uh, we're gonna podcast before we leave for our CCCCC. And so we can put it up while we're it there. While we're there, right? We're not gonna record while we're there, right? I I, I think we'll I just think be, be too... enough recording while <laughs> yeah. there's going on. Apparently, yeah, um, I can't even talk. Um, yeah, just because I don't know when we would fit it in exactly. So yeah, it's want, better. I don't want to try and squeeze it into Magic Land. I just want to enjoy <laughs> Magic Land for what it is. <laughs> let's, let's not hurry through Magic Land. Let's enjoy it. And right. it's a small world after <laughs> all. <laughs> it's a small, small world. Oh, that's true. A world of badges. A world. We're gonna of have to make beans. like a little plan for Friday. a world. Uh, yeah, okay. we'll talk about that later. Yeah, though. let's talk about that later. What else you got? I wanted to talk about uh, last week's Target experience. I don't think I remember. I'm sure I'll remember as soon as you say it. I think the force will awaken you. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we got to Target last I week. I didn't even write that down. Isn't that funny? No, that's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> it and is. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> um, I haven't even write that down and talk about. We got to Target last week. Uh Unbeknownst to us, I, I know it's been in the news, but we don't follow this stuff a lot, which is funny considering where you work. But well, I knew it was happening. The toys were that. released Friday. I just didn't think we were going to like run out to Target or right. anything, so we didn't really talk about that much. And we also had the dog and stuff. So, I like how I just said the toys. Like everyone knows what to, the right. toys for the new Star Wars right. movie the were Force released. Force Awakens toys, yeah. Friday, and we got to Target on Saturday, and saw the place where there's all the toys, and of course, it brought back my childhood. And I'm like. Can we get a couple things? I really wanted BB-8, but I'm like, can we get a couple things? And you're like, yeah. So we ended up buying a cart full of things, a ton of things. <laughs> Target had this thing for every hundred dollars you spend, you get twenty five dollars off of the Star Wars toys. Right. So we went a little berserk. Um, it was not hundreds of dollars. No, 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 no. It was under that. <laughs> let's but, not get crazy. Um, or but it, but it was fun. Or. And it's funny because a lot of people will buy these toys and then they were like on eBay the next day for more money. Yeah. Um, and I'm one of those that like I buy them and take them out of the package. And How set long them up. do you think we were home with them before I ripped them out of the packages? Uh, well, we got home and I put them out for display. You took a picture? Uh, within 10 minutes. I would say within an hour and a half because we had a, I had a couple things I had to do. Right. But an hour and a half, we had them all open and set up on the bookshelf. Mm-hmm. And, and you dusted off the bookshelf and rearranged the bookshelf to fit them all in there. <laughs> yeah, because we had we kind of had a Star Wars shelf already because I'm a huge Boba Fett fan, as so many are. But um, kind of had a Star because actually the Boba Fett stuff from way back when. And although all this stuff I had when I was a kid, I gave away or my mom gave away 
to a friend's son. Mm-hmm. Um, but I used to collect. And he probably has them now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so when I saw these toys, I, I'm like, you know what? I, I'd like to have them out He's again. Probably sold them on eBay. So, but I'm actually <laughs> the kind of person who will like actually take them down and play with them occasionally. Yeah. So yeah, I don't keep them in the package. I don't buy Tell them. Tell them about to sell our them diorama or our diarrhea vignettes. Vignettes. Little. So thing. my mom got you. It's got a name, and I can't remember mm-hmm. of it. Um. It's almost like a terrarium without any animal in it. Right. It's like it's got a sand. It's a cute little, almost like if you took a. And a, it, there was like a little cactus in there, but it died like instantly. Like so. a gallon. Um, it's a bell jar. Yeah. With a. With a, a sand base. base and it's got like a, a fake little tree and twigs in it. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's like a, it's like a Zen <gasps> garden. And it's like the dome. We need to go to your garden. dad's hobby store. Yeah. Because that's where we could find this. Well, my dad I doesn't think. own the hobby store. He just likes to hang out at one. That's. What I meant. Because he likes to make little scenes under his bonsai. Yeah. My dad uh, loves to make, raise, and prune bonsai. Yeah. I actually gave him some oak mm-hmm. uh, thing. I some seedlings. Remember. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're not, I forget what they are. Saplings. Saplings. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we bought <clears throat> a couple of these tiny little like micro machine X-Wing fighters and TIE fighters and... Uh, uh, the Millennium Falcon, and we're hanging them in this little terrarium that my mom bought for you to be like all. Oh, she's gonna cool. come over. She's coming over tomorrow, and she's gonna see that, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, yeah, that plant died. Sorry." No, she'll, she'll like it because <laughs> she, she knows, still thinks it's funny. But she knows, uh, we're repurposing, like, and it's kind of cool. Fan of Star Wars, I am. Right. It is funny because as soon as I saw it, I felt like a kid again. All yeah. that stuff, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I want it. It's fun. So, um, I forgot to tell you this, but um, speaking of Millennium Falcon, um. Uh, Molly and Ben from a uh, couple things podcast apparently went out. They were going to go out Friday night when the toys came out, but they mm-hmm. went out on Saturday and went to like seven different stores or something. And I texted her from um, the target with my, that zip up hoodie on or oh, whatever. The Darth Vader zip up right. Hoodie? And um, she, I don't, I don't think she told me this at the time, but I heard them talking about it on their podcast and they got the Lego millennium Falcon and, yes. and put it together for four hours. Nice. <laughs> it's up on their bookshelf. I like I like all the Lego <laughs> stuff too. You just we would need more room for the yeah. stuff I'd want. So right, and then we also need like obviously we have to like have the dining room table right. um, ready and to work on it and stuff. And we have a cat. Yeah. That jumps on stuff. I get, I get a Tie Fighter <laughs> and the Millennium Falcon to hang from the ceiling in yeah. here. But then you know, but it's funny to spend you know you spend all that money to have crap you don't need on your bookshelf i'm like wow look at all that money just sitting there for no reason makes us happy though we have the ss trooper freaking flamethrower guy <laughs> re- resurrected from the nazis i think that guy just it's kind of it's all very weird. uh world war ii-esque all yeah. very nazi and... all goose stepping yeah Woo. good stuff wait no. no that's not actually good stuff that's the not... star wars is good yeah. stuff star wars good stuff um, oh, also, I just remembered um, while we were talking that um, Will um, who from the Airspeaker podcast um, had tweeted that he wants to see a picture of the canvas um, prints that you got for me for our anniversary. Yeah. And I have forgotten to do that. And I just remembered. So I wrote no, it down. So I will do that. that. We haven't hung them up and you haven't oh, taken pictures. Oh, stop that. I'm so busy. So I guess that was not a good gift. I digress. We can hang them up tomorrow. Well, can we hang them up tomorrow morning? Well, there's too much going on. Uh, too much going on yeah, tomorrow morning. Maybe Sunday. Maybe tomorrow afternoon. Maybe Sunday night. <laughs> uh, I plan on sleeping as soon as uh, we drop zero. <laughs> Two o'clock zero. in the afternoon? Yeah. Dropping zero off? Keeping yeah, nine? <laughs> dropping all, all of them off. But, um, okay. Yeah. So I just thought it was it was fun to go to. And we bought uh, we bought something. It was a, So we bought all this Star Wars stuff. And then there was uh, like something else that was really random. I think it was the... Like cat food dog, or something. The dog, the dog <laughs> urine spray. Yeah, yeah, a pet spray just yeah. for just in case and if she has any some, accidents. And something else very right. random. Was right. it the salsa? No, because they didn't have the salsa okay. there. Anyway, but, doesn't matter. But it was something like that. It was like one food item. But it was a successful pet Star spray Wars trip. And Star Wars toys. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I enjoyed Target myself. list. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to spend my gift card. Hashtag magic So land. we spent the gift magic card. Magic magic badge. What do you say? What? Magic Land. <laughs> um, so we also used my gift card yeah, up on yeah, that, mom, so it didn't cost mom us. Bought us. Basically, mom bought us mom a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff. Because <laughs> that's what 40-year-olds need. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, that's mom. That's too funny. <laughs> Still got to redo that roof over our patio, but we got sure, Well, that's going to cost way more than, you know, 
yeah. 50 or 100 bucks. So, so. I save the money. Let's bet okay. it. All right. Football season started. Go Patriots. Oh, I just lost half of our audience. That wasn't on the notes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, what I, I wrote wrote it down for some reason. I really got to take better notes. You do. <laughs> you really, <laughs> really do. Really do. There's a couple times where you asked me, "What do you think this means?" And I'm like, "I yeah. don't. I don't know what that means." But um, I'll read you my notes. Okay. So it says number seventy eight. Literally number seventy eight. It says thank you. <laughs> I don't know who I'm supposed to thank, but it just says thank you. I'm gonna assume the listeners. Congrats, congrats to Tony Genie Bout Bell. Okay. All right. Then uh, no sleep. Mm-hmm. It says Star Wars stuff, Target, football, uh, zero sat on nine. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. That Those are all my notes. Did you want to talk about the different leagues and picks and stuff? Mine no. actually says nine, hot attic, hot, <laughs> sleepy. There's actually Did you hot put Magic twice. Land on there? Um, it says it hot does, attic, man jam, no. cable pulling to Magic Land. <laughs> cable pulling to Magic Land. You actually wrote it down. <laughs> I did. I wanted to tell you about it. That's funny. But um, no, there was something about football. Oh, I know what it was. That it was kind of fun last night to sit outside because I spend most of the time. Uh, I've been getting off work a little early finally, but pretty much for uh, puppy care, and I spend most of the time outside since she's not totally housebroken yet or housebroken at all. Plus, it's also super hot and it's nice outside in the <clears> grass <throat> and it's in the shade and so. My house breaking. Uh, tendency seems to be that i spend a ton of time with the puppy outside so the puppy can't go to the bathroom anywhere but outside and she and gets used seems, to going to the bathroom and outside. it <laughs> seems to work and then you know the few times we are inside you know take her out when it looks like she has to go and uh so it, it works so fortunately we have a actually have a tv out under our little backyard mm-hmm. patio so and it's been so freaking warm it's still like 90 degrees at night so last night got to watch the uh, opening nfl game Outside, we had burritos and the dogs hung out. It was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed outside. it. I, I, I know, what the hell that? We haven't done that enough that this year because we started doing it uh, last year when we received said free TV. And um, that was really awesome. And we just like, we're like, oh, yeah, because it's so new and cool. But we haven't been doing it that much this year. And yeah. so I'm kind of happy that we're doing it again. Yeah. So it was it was just kind of nice. So I think that's why I put there. And, you know, probably football. And, of course, football. So you're doing some pick leagues? I'm doing one fantasy league. And mm-hmm. two pick 'em leagues. Pick 'em, and that you just pick the pick who you, you just, think you're going to win. Yeah, you play by the, with the spread, and you just pick who you think you're going to win. But you have to take the spread into consideration. I so, don't know what that means. So, so in Vegas, when you bet against, uh, well, at almost Is any like sport, the odds? there's odds. So they'll say like, so let's say um, the Patriots were going to play the worst team in the NFL. Whoever you want to choose that to be this season. Um, obviously the Patriots should win. So you really just can't make a bet saying, yeah, well, the Patriots are going to beat this whatever team. So they give odds. They say, okay, in order to make it fair, the Patriots have to beat them by 12 points. Okay. And so if the Patriots score 11 points more than the other team, you don't win the bet because they didn't right. cover and that they call that the spread. It's the price is right betting. You got to be closest to this without going over. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is no, at all. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought you were being serious. I'm like, no, I did a terrible job explaining it to you. That's, are you reading stock? No. Okay. I was looking at um, uh, sport. What? Looking at sport. You're making bets now while no. we're podcasting? No, I just want to understand. Well, b- b- apparently you didn't because you said I know, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I think I understand. So, so the odds come out and then... So, you know, so what's really funny is let's say they say, okay, the Patriots have to beat this worst team by 26 points. So you take the other team and that's what you say. You take the other team and the points. So let's say the Patriots score 23 more points on the other team, but I took the other team. I win the bet because they didn't score 26 more points on the other team. I see. So, yeah. So it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, to the lay person, it seems kind of odd. <laughs> Sometimes you're betting against who's actually going to win. But they might not cover the spread. And mm-hmm. people like just saying cover the spread. I think they should change it to Magic Land. You gotta cover Magic Land. Right. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. better. That you sounds way better. Score the touchdown in the Magic Land. Mm-hmm. What's the Magic Land? Oh, the Magic Land is twelve. Oh yeah, dude. Take the Magic Land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's, that's the way it works. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Speaking of sports, yeah. Serena oh, Williams nice. lost today. No way. Yeah. That's insane in my memory. Well, she was expected to win and she got upset. 
So she, over the neck, the three people that were left, her and her opponent, and then the <clears> other <throat> two that were playing, she was seventeen and one. She'd won seventeen of the matches with those previous. She people. was. Yeah, oh, don't start. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so just want to say that. All right. Fine. That sucks. I am a Williams fan myself. She is a powerhouse, and I'm, I'm a she was sister's fan, I expected uh, to win. And after she beat her sister, that was it. She was in. Yeah, and then um, some. I, I don't she actually joked. know very much about the woman who uh, beat her. No one does. Vinci although now they or will something like that. But um, yeah, um, unexpected. But um, and it it's kind of sad because it would have been like the only one ever to win like so many titles in a year oh, or something like out. that. She sleeps with her eyes open. <laughs> She's I did, demon. I did uh, but... research on, I'm sorry to interrupt you, no, but no. it freaks me out. I did research about that. Right. Because she does of, it a lot. A lot of puppies do sleep mm-hmm. with their eyes open. Yeah. They said the dogs are not like humans. I'm like, Oh, no, way to start your article. Dickhead. I know dogs <laughs> aren't like humans. I want to know why. Her damn she doesn't always open. though. Like half the time she doesn't have. So time I sent him a so. strongly worded email. Oh, we could talk about that. Oh, you need to talk about that. <sighs> Starbucks. <sighs> Fucking Starbucks, yeah. man. So did you talk about, was that? No, it was Saturday when we got the right. Star Wars right. stuff. Was it? No, it was Sunday. Oh, yeah. It was after we got the Star Wars. So anyway. This happened. I'm a, I'm a Starbucks apologist. And I'm a Starbucks fan. I like Starbucks. I have the Starbucks app. We use the Starbucks gift card and it is in fact the closest uh, coffee shop to us so we don't even really have you know like a choice that's a coffee that's like a cafe like a restaurant oh it's not a coffee shop the donut shops are just coffee Mm, it does technically yeah (laughs) <laughs> not going there <laughs> um, so uh so anyway so i got this thing on on that starbucks app because mm-hmm. i'm a big fan of the spump pumpkin, spumpkin right the pumpkin spumpkin. spice latte and it was coming out i think it came out the ninth i don't know it came out this week and i got this thing on my app saying uh because you're awesome you can get the pumpkin spice latte early just show the barista this and it's got like a code number and all this right. stuff. So I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. So we went to Starbucks. It's like a little, not a coupon, but a, a cool thing that if you have the app and like you're, yeah, yeah that you get, yeah, yeah. pretty totally. much. Yeah, what, what you I, just said. What yeah. I just said. Yeah. I just like to reiterate. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like to repeat the computer. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it says, it says to hit enter. <laughs> Enter. Um, so I went there and I'm like, hey, I'd like a pumpkin spice latte. And the barista looked at me like I had four freaking heads. And she's like, oh, we don't have that. And I'm like, oh, no, I got this and showed her mm-hmm. what I'm supposed to show her. And she's like, I don't know what that is. We, we don't. We don't. And then you'd like, I saw you stuff. scroll and you're yeah. like talking, telling her. And she's like, I got this email I'm like, for the app. This and is it on says the Starbucks app. Even it's though it doesn't Starbucks. come out till tomorrow, I get it today. And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh. I'll take a cappuccino then. Right. But I was, oh, I was, I was, I mean, it's just a coffee drink. It's not a big deal. But right. I'm like, okay, listen, Starbucks, right. you're going to go out of your way to right. send this thing. I'm going to fall for your goddamn right. marketing and, gimmick. Because you weren't going to get one today. I'm like, going to pay the $6 for your stupid drink, yeah. your over sugary, overpriced crap, because I like it. And then I'm going to get to your goddamn store. And the girl's going to be like, gonna no. Not know what I'm talking about. Right. So I, as we were walking through, Target, I said, I am sending a strongly worded email to Starbucks when we get home. Good night, sir. Yeah, I said, well, that's fine. Give me my cappuccino. Right. So when we got home. You were way super nice and way, yeah, well, way nicer than I would have been about I, it. I don't, I mean. I she, would have been like, if it she, says I can have one. Yeah. You if, need to make me one. If she, you would not no. be like that at all. She obviously didn't know what the hell I was talking about. Right. It's not her fault. Yeah. She is, uh, you know, unfortunately down the chain. Mm-hmm. So the manager, the district manager. And she's new to that location too, I noticed. She hasn't it, been there very long. So I, why get mad? I mean, yeah. you know, it's like getting mad at the waitress when your meal isn't cooked right. It's like she didn't cook the freaking or waiter, right. you know. So I'm like, all right, whatever. What am I going to do? Make her feel bad because, you know. Because of a stupid coffee drink. <laughs> so when I got home, I did write a, I would say not a strongly worded email, but I would, I wrote a. <clears throat> An <clears throat> email that implied you were unpleased. Yes. And I ended it with, what, what are you, you going to do to make this right? 
See, that seems strong to me. Like, which I don't is, think I would. Which is hilarious. That. Waiting for your response is also another good which one. Is, which <laughs> is hilarious because I'm sure whoever read the email from Starbucks was like, dude, it's a drink. What say? Uh, I don't do anything. But I will say this. So Monday, you happy. Monday was a holiday. Mm-hmm. Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. in my inbox was a, an email from Starbucks apologizing and saying they were sending me a gift card. Nice. And I was like, that is. And it was actually like almost like the apology was too much. I'm like, whoa. Just a coffee drink. Relax. <laughs> but so there you go. I still haven't had a pumpkin spice latte. I might be on pumpkin spice latte strike. Right. I doubt it until you get like, at Starbucks. <laughs> what about tomorrow? Maybe you'll oh yeah, pumpkin spice latte for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on strike. For sure. Till tomorrow. Til tomorrow. <laughs> then it's all I day. I'm a Starbucks fan. So say what you will. Fun. I like Starbucks. I like the Patriots. I like Bon Jovi. Suck it, world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, maybe we should, I don't know. What else you got? I got nothing. That's it. I've been at work so much this week. It's ridiculous. You have, it's kind of worked out because I was super busy at work and couldn't leave. And then this week I've still been busy, but, uh, it's really cool. Rogers let me leave. So it's actually worked out. Right. Puppy and then you, <clears throat> you had a ton of work, so you needed to stay later. Right. I've been coming home an average of an hour or more later. Yeah. One day I came home two hours later. Yeah, it's it's. I'm uh, tired. <laughs> it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, so you know what's really weird is um. Yeah, I think I'm really weird. You're a little weird. That's true. Fucking Starbucks not knowing their goddamn pumpkin pumpkin to give wow. it to is out early. They don't know weird. their own little jams. They don't know their own coupons. Oh, um. Also, I was listening to uh, Ladies Night podcast, the new episode. Um, the latest episode? The new episode. Although what's weird is you say the latest episode, someone could be listening to this in two weeks, and they're like, it's yeah. not the latest episode. Oh, I don't remember what number it is, but um, I listened to the newest episode. And um, I just want to say thank you for the Ice Rattle shout-out. Thank you. Ice Rattle shout-out. Ladies' night. Thank you. We'll be seeing uh, part of Ladies' night soon. Mm-hmm. We'll be seeing... I, I, hmm. <laughs> not too much sugar for me. All right. Um, all right. Let's do our favorite five. Let's do it. Talk about it. Uh, our favorite five is freaking Poppy with her eyes open. It freaks me out, man. Our favorite five this week is five. What? What's that sound? The fan. Is it? I don't think I really noticed it before. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's on the move. move. She's on the move. She's on the move. Uh, uh, oh, you got to talk for a second. Is she getting up? Yeah. Or is she just going to lay talk. back down? I think she's just going to lay back down. Uh, you talk. You, t- you explain the favorite five. Oh, it's going to take, that's going to take way less time than whatever it is you're going to do. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> all right. I'm just going to talk about dogs some more, I guess. I'm all alone. So, um, back. let's talk about this Reaper thing a little bit more. I really like it, but I think it's just a little too sweet. Not too sweet in general, but too sweet for me today because I haven't eaten very much and it's late and, um, you know what would be really tasty is that I want to try this over ice cream. It tastes so much like a nice kind of almost like a cream soda slash root beer to me that I think it'd be really nice uh, a la mode little root beer float. Um, we're going to try that one of these days. We'll talk about it. Hey, Molly, have you tried that? Did you explain? I have not. I was talking about the root beer. Oh, the root beer. <laughs> okay. Our favorite five or favorite five. Oh, my God. That's- so our favorite five this week is a favorite five. I said I called it animal movies. Or- oh, I do- movies that. Favorite five movies that have a a dog in them. Oh, you said a... dog? I thought you just said animals. No. Oh. Why animals? Who cares about animals? Oh, huh. well. Uh, okay. Well, for, uh, <laughs> we have two separate favorite fives going. <laughs> I have a favorite five movies that has dogs in them. Not a dog movie. It doesn't have to be like Benji. It's just like a scene in a movie and you're like, oh, the, you know, I like that movie because it's that crazy dog scene. Um, so, but animals is fine. I think I only have to change one. No, that's fine. Uh, hold is on. she moving? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's on the go again. Um, I don't, yeah, I didn't, uh, I'm sorry. I thought you said animal. No. Sorry. I did animals, not dogs. Although I think that all but like one of my favorite five has dogs in them technically. So I suppose I still could be a little bit safe with that. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm <laughs> so distracted. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm super tired. Um, so this weekend, uh, we're doing it on Friday, doing a little podcast on Friday because tomorrow 
We're having a little meet and greet. Uh, Nils family is coming over and uh, they're going to bring their dog. They have a big standard poodle. I think we've mentioned that before. And we're going to uh, try to introduce them, see how everything's going. And, um, you know, they want to meet the new puppy and all of that. And uh, it'll be also be interesting to see how Zero responds to that. And I'm sorry, I guess that again is uh, <laughs> more dog talk. Well, that's all that's going on with us, though. Oh, and for those of you uh, wondering about our cat, we can move from cat dog to cat talk. Um, our cat, Roy, our older kitty, who had all kinds of problems recently, is doing actually really well. He looks good. He and the puppy get along well enough. So that's all good, too. Um, what else? You know what's funny is I never talk about our other cat very much, Mr. Chubbs. Mr. Chubbs has a weird mole on his face. Wow, I'm just really going off rails on this whole <laughs> just random talk, which means I just talk about my animals. Um, before I forget, um, has anybody out there seen that new movie, Sean the Sheep? I know we actually worked on the sound for it a little bit at work. I think my friend worked on it, but, um, I really, uh, like Sean the Sheep and Timmy, the other side character. I think they did a movie about that too, but, um, I'm wondering how that went and, um, if it was any good. So you guys, uh, tweet at me and let me know. And also, before I forget, um, I'm doing a guest appearance coming up soon on Pop Culture Case Study. And if you haven't checked out that podcast, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to guest appear on that. So that should be good. And I don't know um, exactly when that's coming out. I think it's coming out in a couple weeks. But um, I will obviously tweet it out. And we've already recorded it. So it'll come out soon. All right. Let's blast through these because she's still outside. Oh, oh okay. So uh, <laughs> what's your number five? Um, my number five is the Dr. Doolittle from 1998 with Eddie Murphy. Oh, very nice. And I, I know there was like a 1967 version or whatever, but I like the Eddie Murphy version. I thought it was good. It was funny. Very cool. Uh, my number five is Men in Black, the little dog in Oh, in black. right. Yeah. Right. I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. Because mm. <laughs> it's dog. Yeah. So talk about that for a second. <laughs> okay. Is it technically a dog? Because it's an alien. It's a pug. I know. <laughs> it's an alien pug. His name's Frank. Is that right? Frank the pug. That's too funny. Okay, so what is it? I'm not number four. So my number four is, of course, Turner and Hooch. And um, 1989. Of course, everybody loves that movie. You have to love it. So love it now. Like, if it's on, I'd probably watch it. Um, and I bet you that's on Neil's list, too. I wonder if it's his number one. I'm going to guess. Okay, so I just did my number four. Which was what? Turner and Hooch. Oh, yeah. That was a good movie. Hooch! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> slobbery dog. Yeah. Okay. Just can't help the, the slobbery Turner. Yeah. And Hooch. <laughs> uh, my number four is uh, Best in Show. Oh, right. Which uh, obviously and that, is all I didn't even think about, about that one, too. Yeah. Uh, my little, my favorite is actually Little Terrier, because... When they hold him up at the end and yeah. his eyes are all like, yeah, so <laughs> I think it's so funny that whenever we do our favorite fives and, and you give your list, I'm always like, yeah, right. Oh. But it's so funny that they don't pop into my head. So it's good. There you go. That's one of the things I like about it. So um, my number three is Stuart Little, the one about the oh, little yeah. mouse. Yeah. Well, but that's animation, isn't it? Well, he's animated. but okay. And see, that's the other thing, too, is I wasn't sure if we were going to do animated or not. Yeah. I should have asked you that stuff. We should have discussed it a little bit. Yeah, we should have discussed our favorite five. It was a good idea. Our favorite five is a little bit off. I've been um, failing on the favorite fives lately. lately. Mm -hmm. I Uh, I don't know. I thought we were doing pretty good. I like them. Rocking it. Ah, Suck it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So your number three? My number three. We're like blasting through these. Well, you told me to. (laughs) My number three is Anchorman. Oh, right. What's his name? I thought it was Baxter. Baxter, yeah. You know, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I love how he just talks to him like he's a person. Now, that's kind of my the yeah. favorite thing. But I know, but I mean, like, like an actual person. Like, he just doesn't actually see him as a dog. Mm-hmm. Like, he thinks he's like a person. Like, he's people. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so this is where I stray off course, and I'm really sorry. Because, um, again, I just kind of did what I thought what I was no, doing. No, that's cool. Um, so my number two is The Aristocats, which is okay. a Disney yeah. animated movie about cats. There There's a dog go. in it, though. There's right. a dog that helps him out. Yeah, I, but, it's funny because I, I, I was the other one I was thinking of doing that we could do at a later date was an animated. Oh, version. okay. So we'll have to. Sorry, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> that, no it's totally. We'll fine. Have to modify. No, I, we'll 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 do like a modified version of this list mm-hmm. where then you can do my list and I can do like right. Just animal, that's yeah. that'd be funny. We yeah. could swap. Yeah. 
That's perfect. So what are we on? My number two? Uh-huh. My number two is uh, the Rottweiler from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Nice. Yeah. When uh, the principal uh-huh. sticks his head in. and Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's funny. Yeah. He's protecting the house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, did you go for, for some reason I thought you went first. I don't think so. I think. Well, what, what are you? What's your... No, you're right. I, I went first. Okay, sorry. Um, so my number one, and it won't be a surprise to you, but it's going to be a surprise to this list because I did my mm-hmm. list wrong. But it's the Great Mouse Detective. Oh. So and you know how much I, it's a whole bunch of my favorite things together. It's animals and Sherlock magic Holmes. Land. It's my magic land. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it is a. Mystery. It is uh, my happy place. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um. So my number one. Is Father of the Bride with the Dobermans recoil release? Right, because he can't remember. Them. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. See, number, I don't remember any see, of those. If we were, and it's funny, I had a, an honorary number one, which is zero, zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. But since we were weren't doing animated, oh, yeah, yeah. Of so I'm going to save that number one for the other list. Okay. So I know we blew through our favorite five. Sorry that this episode, yes. it seems rushed. There's going to be like five minutes in the middle where I'm just randomly talking about stuff and I'm going to hate to listen back to That's that. Awesome. And I'm going to just like. Just I might like, have to listen just for that. Uh, do you mind doing the closeout I'll stuff? I'll do the closeout. I'll I don't know right how back. to stop it though. You don't gotta come back? That. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, so thank you everybody. Thank you for listening. And uh, Dark Angels and PrettyFreaks.com. Sorry, but I got a puppy on the loose. Got a puppy on the loose. <laughs> puppy on the loose. Okay. Go get her. <laughs> you see right. the size of them chickens? <laughs> I don't know what that's from. Uh, we'll find out later. Young guns. Young guns. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, okay. So thanks, everybody, for listening. Sorry about the little ending there and all of that. Uh, but you know what's going on. So now you know. This is, how, this is what it's like um, just all the time right now. So this is it. <laughs> no sleep. Crazy puppy. Everybody's tired. And it's freaking hot. Okay. Thank you for listening. Check out darkangelspreetyfreaks.com. Please check out our Dark Angels oh, Pretty Free. I decided not to grow my hair. Oh, yeah. There's the other thing. Um, the whole growing out your hair, the rock star status is I'll gone. Watch Just, and once you end the video, you can see Nine on the YouTube video. Hi. She's too wiggly butt. Um, okay. So, you can, again, right. you keep oh, interrupting sorry. me. I can't remember a thing. Um, no, DFPF app. Don't check us out on Facebook, thing. Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and sometimes we do Periscope. Not that often. Just my um, check out our voicemail, 774 DAPF 713 774 3273 713. We are on musings of a geek.com, wickedradio.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, and tangentboundnetwork.com. They have We're some really nine. awesome com. shows, so check those out. Nine and zero.com. iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, um, sparkradio.us on Mondays. At five, I think we're still on there, and uh, geekliferadio.com on Wednesdays at one thirty. I think we're still on there as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, thank you everybody for listening. Mm-hmm. Sorry about the ending. Woo-hoo. Love you all.